Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay Jones on behalf of Cincinnati Saga Talk here in Miami Malone's down in Covington, Kentucky. With the pride, following it in FC Cincinnati's fifth loss in a row against San Jose Earthquakes, 1-0. I mean, it's it's tough. It's it's tough. This is probably the best way I can put it without going into too much detail. From your perspective, what did you see that we just weren't connecting on tonight? Man, we just don't really have any great ideas, it seems. We didn't get any possession in the first half. 70-30, that's like Barcelona versus like the bottom of uh, La Liga style <laughs> discrepancies. 70-30, that's impressive. That's hard to do. And I knew we weren't going to get much of the ball. So then when they were down a man, you're like, all right, now something, something's got to happen. Something good. But we still like can't put anything together. And it's crazy. The guys look like they're still just like, like they just met. And it shouldn't be like that. And you watch San Jose pass it and knock it around. And you're like, okay, that's what, like, what are we why can't we do what other teams can do? And at this point, if we can't score on nine guys, it's, it's not going to get any easier than that. So, I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, like, we, they, San Jose goes down a man. There's yellow cards being thrown out. It's like, it's like momentum's going in our favor. It's just not putting the ball in the back of the net. We did have one great opportunity. It was an amazing save by their keeper. But, I mean, I, don't, I really don't know what – to really make of like what, what what what's happening right now with our club? Yeah, I mean, I was happy. Koch threw out a kind of weird lineup, and I was like, all right, let's let's go for it. Frankie Amaya gets a start, and uh, then Adi even came into the game. He had one decent chance, but you can't expect him to not be rusty or stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you don't really know what he can only throw out so many lineups, and I think he's thrown out like I don't know. 12 different lineups or something crazy so there's only so much you can do and I don't know I don't know what he said in the post game but we're kind of we got these are the players we got maybe give Ledesma another chance at starting because I thought he looked really good he's really good at flicking it on to another dude so let's get him up top with maybe Adi at a start and maybe they can play off each other I think we need two guys up top because uh, the one guy up top well nothing seems to be working but uh, I don't know so hopefully we get a goal on Saturday because if if Montreal scores first on Saturday, I'm afraid that the vibe, <laughs> the boo birds, it could get it could get a little ugly. So I'm I'm praying one o'clock Saturday we can uh, we can do something. Otherwise, what do you think? What do you think about uh, Frankie's first start in MLS after being recalled from Orange County? I thought he was pretty good. He honestly looks like he has no fear, which is the best thing you could say. He was a little bit frantic, and his defense was a little bit all over the place, but. In a game like this where so many people were missing passes, just the fact that he was willing to like hold the ball deep and work it around a few guys and then find the open man, which is something that some of the other guys panic when they get on the ball, and he's not afraid to hold on to the ball for a while. So he looked good, and I'm glad they brought him back. And uh, I mean, if Eric Alexander is going to start last week, there's room on this team for Frankie Amaya to get playing time. So I'm fine with that. So he looked pretty good. I'm happy. And I mean, final question, even with, even with the loss for Cincinnati, your man of the match for tonight. Uh, I'll give it to Manu just because he came in. He was positive. He made some things happen. I'm probably forgetting some people in the first half. Every game you could probably say Kendall Waston because he's like our rock in the back. And without him, it's kind of scary to even think about. So it's either Waston or like if I follow my heart, I'm going to give it to uh, Ledesma just because I like when he gets a chance to show people that, you know, he can hack it in MLS too. All right. Now I really appreciate the time. Thank you very much.